Hello there and welcome to BeNetTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. This is a special edition of Urban Beat and we were speaking earlier with Leo Cribs about the Calgary Reggae Festival which is coming up August 11th to 18th here at Shaw Millennium Park. We are now joined by Christina Marriott who is the, the PR communications person in charge of just making sure that everybody knows about the festival. In training. In training. Well, you know, so far from what I can tell you're doing a really great job but let's, um, let's talk about um, some of the activities that are going to be happening at the festival this Excellent. year. We'll start oh. with you. We have a whole week of just some amazing activities. It's going to be so exciting. It all starts on Saturday the 11th. That is going to be our big gala fundraiser. It's a great way to kick off the week. Um, we want people to come out, get dressed up. There's going to be live music. Um, we're going to have some DJs. We'll have some dancing going on. Great food, cool drinks. So it's going to be, it's just going to be great. And um, that takes place at the Martha Cohen that's Theater, at the right? Martha okay. Cohen Theater. Um, doors open at six thirty. The show's going to be at eight. Um, also, we're going to have um, a raffle that night as well, where we're going to have um, a silent auction, and um, fifty percent of the proceeds are going to go to Cuso, who um, we've partnered up with this summer. It's going to be great. Um, we're really excited to have them on board for that. So. Fantastic. Now tell us a little bit more. There's one of the things I, I don't know if maybe I just didn't realize it from you know festivals past, but there's a lot more things that are going on with this festival than just the the, the music, if you will. There's going to be film. There's mm -hmm. going to be a reggae flavors evening. So um, well, I don't know if you want to speak to if you know what some of the films are that are going to be playing at. If you guys are, yeah. oh yes, I yeah. Do. Okay, we so do. tell yes. us about so the films. The film Tuesday and Wednesday night we have. Uh, the first one is a film called Roots Rock Reggae, and it's one of the most definitive reggae documentary that was ever made. It was filmed in the 70s, mid 70s, and it's got people like um, Leroy Sebbles, Bunny Whaler, um, Jimmy Cliff, um, Bob Marley is in, in on it, um, cameo shots and appearances. But what it is, it, it's talking about the whole music industry in Jamaica, giving you a good perspective of what reggae music back in the 70s was like. And of course, I still, and a lot of experts believe that the mid-70s was the most creative period of reggae music. Right, right. So that was there. But it's not just that. The, the other film we're going to show is um, the One Love from starring Ju Kimani Marley and Sharina Anderson. A beautiful film, just just an emotional Romeo and, Ju Romeo and Juliet story. The, you know, the Nazi dread and, and the Christian girl. And of course, uh, daddy's in the bill. No one it to happen. And you got to choose this one here. So that kind of stuff. Oh, so. that sounds great. And where are those films going to be shown? They're going to be at the Cardell Theater. OK. And um, both films will run, um, f I believe, on Tuesday night. It's uh, 7 o'clock. And um, on Wednesday, it'll be 7.30. Um, and th for that, it's really by donations. So right. we're encouraging people to come out and support us in any way they can, um, in any dollar amount, um, as well as bring a food item. Oh, so, fantastic. Yeah. Now, before we go any further, uh, people want to log on to the website to find out more about the festival. What's your website address? Yes, it's www.calgaryreggaefestival.com. And Perfect. we have a MySpace, too. Yes, what's the MySpace address? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think <laughs> it is... MySpace.com slash, slash Calgary, Calgary Reggae, Reggae Festival. Festival. Yes. Perfect. I awesome. So. Now, the reggae flavors, actually, one of the reasons why I'm excited about that, well, other than the fact that I love um, the Caribbean food, and mm. uh, Nicole, who's behind the lens right now, <laughs> loves <laughs> Caribbean food. But we're going to be doing some really interesting pieces, um, you know, obviously, you know, working with you guys on some media exposure and that kind of thing. But we're actually going to, we're looking to have Nicole down there, and we're looking for oh, her great. to learn yeah. how to do some Caribbean cooking so that then she can feed us all the office. Yes. But um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about... <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Tell us a little bit about that particular event. Well, I mean, we all love Caribbean food, and that's the thing. You know, you go out and you you um, you go to restaurants and things, but you really want to be able to cook at home, right? So this is going to be an opportunity for people to come out, taste some food, try their um, hands-on um, demos and stuff as well, and they're going to walk away with something too that night. So mm -mm -mm. Um, it's taking place at Calgary Co-op, which is downtown here, um, the Midtown Market, I believe on 11th Ave and 11th Street. Right. So um, people need to purchase um, their tickets for that in advance, though. So we encourage people to go onto the website, buy your tickets in advance. It's fifteen dollars um, for the um, the reggae flavors, and it's just going to be a great hands-on experience. Like I said, mm, yeah. yummy! I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, make I'm really sure that, um, that Nicole and I fast all day long. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should add yeah. also that you know the person that we have facilitating the event is Joyce yeah. from jo used, used to run Joyce Caribbean Food. Now she's doing Joyce Caribbean mm. Catering, right? And of course, somebody who has been in the business of cooking yeah. Caribbean long food time. for Jamaica uh, for Calgary public for a long. Time, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so we're also going to have some uh, some DJs that are playing at the yes Cab 
Cabana? Cabana Bar and Cabana Grill. Cabana Bar and Grill. Yes, on Thursday evening we're going to have Irie Vibes down there. So um, everybody should come out and check out some local DJs spinning some reggae music. Um, who do we have performing there? Beat Matrix Crew. Yep. We've got Big Drew. Gummy will be back in town for that. Oh, We've good. got um, yeah. Kentone Original R&R. Mm -hmm. um, New Tech, Blacker. Yeah. There's a whole host. Pretty much, I think... DJ yeah. Tala will be there for as well. Sure. And they all have different styles, yes. different you know um, ways that they, they spin. So it's going to be great to see some different. Um, Fantastic. Now, of course, um, our viewing audience can go to the website and they can yep. find out all the details of the schedule, times, how to get yes. tickets, that type of thing. Of course, you'll be able to log on to bnettv.com and you'll be able to link through to all the information that you need on the Reggae Festival. Now, of course, um, we have all these amazing things and then it culminates in the big day, which is the Saturday on August 18th. Oh, excitement. Oh, excitement <laughs> as it's building. We're going to be here in Shaw Millennium Park. I can see it now. Yeah. We're sitting here. We've got this, this perfect, yeah, I can picture it. I can oh. see it all now. Um, the interesting thing you were telling us about this park earlier is that it's built as a perfect amphitheater. It is. So I think that we're going to not only experience mm -hmm. just a great day and great music, but the sound, oh, the yes. sounds of reggae, I think, are going to be amazing. Now, what can you tell us about some of the musical acts that are going to be performing? Well, I can tell you that there's going to be one big surprise the day off. We're not going to say it's a musical act or what it is, but you're going to see something totally different from the past year's festival. Uh, that's, that's, that's one of the things that will be, the, be happening. Uh, musical acts, well, Caution is coming in from Antigua. And I was talking to a gentleman today, and he was like, I was, because he had he'd gotten a caution CD, and he was like, man, I can't wait for him to get here. It's coming from God. I can't wait for him to get here. You know, so that's just how people are responding. I, I was downtown yesterday, and three people came up to me, Leo, man, what a lineup. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I mean, these are people that I didn't know, but they knew who I was. They know who you so, are. It's the T-shirt. It's probably. <laughs> 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 so... Uh, Richie Stevens is closing the show, so we can tell everybody that. Uh, so make sure you stay for that. And Richie Stevens is one of the, well, just say the voice, the performance that he puts on is just incredible. We have Caution, we have Canadian Foundation reggae artist, Errol Blackwood, formerly with Messenger. Rilika Kirk, Beanie Man's bigger brother, is going to be coming in as well. Tanya Mullings. Oh, man, you want me to go through all I can? Ah, them all well, up. once again, our viewers can go to both yes. the, uh, the Calgary <laughs> Reggae Festival website as well as bnettv.com. Right, right. um, I, I want to talk to you guys about a few more things. And when we come back from our break, we're going to talk a little bit more about the history behind the festival, um, some interesting tidbits that you were talking to us a little bit later on, and, of course, Cuso as far as the, the fundraiser that's involved Excellent. with this particular yeah. uh, with this particular event. This has been a special edition of Urban Beat, and I'm Michelle Sklar. Thank you.